What's up guys, welcome to Chig's Tech Q&A session number 5. So every Monday I bring you a brand new Q&A session with the aim to answering your most common questions. Now if you have a question or need advice then feel free to drop your comment anywhere on social media with the hashtag Chig's Tech QA or the hashtag Ask Chigs. And I'll do my best to answer your question on this Q&A for the benefit of everyone. So without further ado, let's begin. So the first question comes from Marcos. I find it hard to pick between Probox 2 Air Plus and the Minix U9H. What do you think? Both of these Android TV boxes are very good performers, but if I had to choose between them, I would definitely go for the Minix U9H. It's an all-round better TV box with great performance and features, including voice search functions, but also great support from Minix itself. So question number two comes from Awent. So I just got the 3GB 32GB H96 Android TV box. With Android version 6, can you help me on how to do the update to Android 7.1? I've already made an upgrade video for the H96 Pro Plus and I will link that video in the description box below so you can follow that simple video and upgrade your box very easily. So question number three comes from Dennis and this is related to the GM2 Pro gaming headset. So can I put the USB in the PS4 for the LED lights? So this is a wired gaming headset and comes with two cables. One is the 3.5mm headphone jack which will give you the audio and the other one is a USB cable especially for the LED lights. Now the LED lights are totally optional, you can use the headset without the LED lights but if you do want to use the LED lights you can plug it into any USB source. So you can plug it into your PS4, your Xbox One, you can plug it into a power bank or even the power adapter which you use for your mobile phone. Question number four comes from Patrick. Was wondering if you connect an Android TV box with an antenna, would you get channels that way? So this question is related to the Xiaomi Mi TV 4A, which I recently reviewed. Now this product has a TV tuner, which is only designed for Asia. So you will not be able to attach a UK antenna for TV channels. However, you can still attach your satellite Freeview, Sky, Virgin, or Now TV boxes via HDMI and watch TV with no issues. And to answer your question, yes you can attach an Android TV box with TV tuner such as WeTech Play 2 or the Mi Cool K3 Pro, which is actually a great idea if you are in the UK. So question number 5 comes from CTP. While the phone is locked, when someone presses the doorbell, do you get a notification and call? So this question relates to the Digu smart wireless doorbell and yes, you will get a notification and a phone call as soon as someone presses the doorbell. You can also set up a PIR, motion detection, so as soon as someone even approaches your door, you will get a notification. So question number six comes from <laughs> Thank You Pants. Does the USB to Ethernet dongle work with the H96 Android TV stick as well? That is a good question and this question relates to the USB Ethernet dongle by Ugreen. Yes, I have tested this Ethernet dongle with the H96 Android TV stick and I can confirm that it works very well. So question number seven is from Kavish. What is an AV port? Where can I use it on the Android TV box? Can I connect the Tanix TX3 Mini to my CRT TV? And can I play GTA on it? So that's like four questions. So the first question, what is an AV port? An AV port is an audio and video input. Second question, where can I use it on the Android TV box? Now the AV ports on Android TV boxes will give you a mixed bag of results. Most of the AV ports are supposed to let you connect to an old CRT TV or non-HDMI displays. However, I found that most of the AV ports do not work and the ones that do will require you to plug the AV cable into the TV box and TV first and then power up. Another use for the AV port is you can connect a 3.5mm headphone or speakers and most of the time this works quite well. Now can I connect the Tanix TX3 to my CRT TV? Well technically yes it should work but I have found it to be trial and error. It will work fine on some TVs and not on others. So even if it does work it's not going to look good at all. So your best bet is to stick with HDMI or invest in a new display. And finally, can I play GTA on it? Yes, you can play GTA on any Android TV box, but whether it will work on your CRT display, you need to test it to find out. 
Question number eight comes from Jane. Can this be used without connected Wi-Fi? So this is related to the MXQ Pro 4K Android TV box. So to answer your question, mostly all Android TV boxes can be used with a Wi-Fi or wired Ethernet connection. And you do need the internet if you want to stream content, i.e. video shows, movies, YouTube, etc. However, most Android TV boxes can be used offline as a media player for your movie collection or downloaded movies. And there are also lots of games which you can download and play offline. So question number nine comes from Mark. Hi Chicks, Mini PCs, what is the best one to buy? I've been looking at Minex, but I need advice. Thanks again. So my current two favorite mini PCs are the Voyo VMAC Mini and the Vorke V1 Plus. You can see their positions on the chart. Now, number two, the Minex is actually a very good mini PC, but the only thing stopping me from using that as my daily driver is the internal storage. 32 gigs are just not enough for me. Now there is a gray area on reinstalling windows on a new or upgraded drive when it comes to these mini Windows PCs. BIOS settings are not always available and even if they are, it is quite tricky to successfully install Windows on a separate drive and still have a valid license. So a few people have told me that they have corrupted their Windows installation by trying to move their Windows to another drive. So to save any issues, I recommend getting a decent storage from the start. And from my experience using all of these, the Voyo VMAC Mini does a great job by giving you a 128GB SSD to begin with. And the price is also quite reasonable. So there you have it guys, this concludes the Chicks Tech Q&A session. I hope you guys found this video useful. Big shout out to all those viewers mentioned in this video. Thank you for your questions and contributing to this Q&A. Keep your questions coming, hashtag Chicks Tech QA or hashtag Ask Chicks. New Q&A every Monday. Do hit the like button if you found this video useful. And with that being said, check out the links in the description relating to all the topics we have discussed. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. See you in the next one, guys.